Monica Lamba, Assistant Professor in Bihari Group of Colleges. Today, my topic is Cervical Cancer. Cervical Cancer is defined as malignant and proliferative growth in the epithelial layer of the cervix. It is the first most common cancer found in females in India and second most common cancer found in the female reproductive system in world. Next we move to the etiology and risk factors. Exact etiology of the cervical cancer is still unknown but some risk factors are contributing to the cervical cancer. These are human papilloma virus, multiple sexual partners, lower social economic status, previous cervical infection, poor menstrual hygiene and last but not the least is malnutrition. Then coming to the pathophysiology of the disease. In the pathophysiology of the cervical cancer, repeated uh, exposure to the carcinogens will lead to the mutagenic changes in the epithelial layer of the cervix. As a result, what happens? Proto-oncogenes will be converted into the oncogenes and they will depress the tumor suppressor gene. As a result, what happens? There will be malignant and uncontrolled proliferative growth in the epithelial layer of the cervix. That is all about the pathophysiology. Now coming to the staging. In staging, we will discuss about stage 0, stage 1st, stage 2nd, stage 3rd and stage 4th. Uh, stage 0 is pre-malignant stage and last stage of the benign tumor. Stage 1st. In stage 1st, cervical cancer is confined to the cervix only. Then stage 2nd. In stage 2nd, uh, the carcinoma is up to the cervix but involve vagina but not the lower third and not extend to the pelvic wall. In stage 3rd, the carcinoma extends to the pelvic wall and lower third part of the vagina. Stage 4 is the metastatic stage. It means metastatic means cervical cancer is confined to the other organs and affect other nearby organs of the body. Uh, next, we move to the silent symptoms. First, most common silent symptom found in females during cervical cancer is blood state vaginal discharge. Then intramenstrual and postmenstrual bleeding. Next one is pelvic pain, leg pain and sometimes maybe thigh pain. Uh, next most common symptom is dyspareunia. It means difficulty during intercourse. Next bladder symptoms. In bladder symptoms most commonly found symptoms are hematuria and sometimes frequency of the micturition can be disturbed. Next rectal symptoms. Blood in stool means malina sometimes may be present. Last one is cachexia. Cachexia is nothing but it means nausea, vomiting, anorexia and weakness during the cancer. Next we move to the diagnostic evaluation. Diagnostic evaluation is first done by history and physical examination. Then papismia, hysteroscopy, colposcopy, endocervical curatage, intravenous paleography, proctoscopy and cystoscopy. Generally proctoscopy and cystoscopy are done to visualize the metastasis. Now coming to the management. Uh, ma management includes three types. Chemotherapy, radiotherapy and last option is surgery. Uh, drug of choice in chemotherapy are cisplatin and carboplatin. Radiotherapy in radiotherapy, brachytherapy is given in which implementation, implantation of the drugs in the cervix is done. Next, move to the surgery. Uh, two types of surgery are done in cervical cancer. First one is partial hysterectomy. Next one is complete hysterectomy. In partial hysterectomy, only the cervix part is removed which is affected. Complete hysterectomy, then complete hysterectomy, uterus, cervix and other reproductive organs are removed. So that is all about my topic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for more details, you can log on to our website www.guru.com.